Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to purchase US and Hong Kong shares using the Interactive Brokers platform. From account creation to funding your account to Forex exchange and all the way to buying your first share, I have included the various timelines in the description below, so feel free to fast forward the video to the different sections. The first step is opening your Interactive Brokers account. This part is actually quite straightforward. Just Google Interactive Brokers, head on to their website, click on Open Account, Start Application, and just fill in all the required information over here. When you're done, click on Create Account. They will then send you an email verification for you to confirm. So for those based in Singapore, after you have verified your email address, they will send you a link to verify your identity via SingPass, so you don't really have to submit any physical forms. Within the next working day, your account should be open, so it's really quite a quick process. After your account is open, you can proceed to fund the account. Log in to Interactive Brokers via their website, click on Transfer Funds, click on Make a Deposit, the really good thing about Interactive Brokers is that your trading account actually acts like a multi-currency account and you can receive funds in any currency. This is unlike other brokers like Ting or Swim, which can only accept USD deposits and all your funds in the Ting or Swim platform are in USD. So for me, my domestic currency is actually Singapore dollars, so I can choose to transfer Singapore dollars directly to my trading account. Select Bank Wire, key in your bank details here, and when you're done, indicate the amount you would like to transfer from a bank. So let's say it's $3,000. And they'll provide you with the bank account to transfer the funds to. Since this transfer is in Singapore dollars, the bank account you are transferring to is actually a Singapore bank account, so you'll be considered as a local transfer. And you just have to log into your iBanking account and transfer the funds like how you do it for any local transfer. Remember to include the payment reference provided by Interactive Brokers in the payment details when you are doing the transfer via iBanking. And if you decide to fund your account in a foreign currency like US dollars, you can do that too. Just repeat the same steps. Click USD, Bank Wire, and fill in your account information. This time round, the clearing account is actually a US clearing account. Luckily for those based in Singapore, some of the banks like DBS actually allow you to remit US dollars to US clearing accounts for free. Just log into your iBanking account, click on DBS Remit, click on Add New Recipient, and fill up the US clearing account information that Interactive Brokers have provided. Remember to also include the payment reference number provided by Interactive Brokers in the payment details when you're doing the transfer. So that's it. For me, I have both the Singapore dollar and the US dollar bank wire set up. So the next time you want to transfer funds into your account again, you just need to repeat the same steps. You should normally see your funds in your training account within 4 to 6 hours of the transfer. It's pretty quick. Interactive Brokers also allows you to withdraw your funds in any currency as well. If you want to withdraw your funds in Singapore dollars, just select Singapore dollars. Enter your account details and you're good to go. If you want to withdraw your funds in US dollars, you need to make sure that your bank account receiving the funds actually accepts US dollars, like a multi-currency account. Otherwise, the bank will convert your US dollars into a domestic currency using the bank's exchange rate. You're entitled to one free withdrawal every month. For subsequent withdrawals, Interactive Brokers actually charge a fee. You can refer to the Interactive Brokers website for the fees for subsequent withdrawal. One thing to note is that some of the banks do charge incoming wire transfer. So for the case of Singapore, if you are withdrawing Singapore dollars, there's no incoming wire transfer fee. But if you choose to withdraw in US dollars, there are additional incoming wire transfer fees that varies depending on the bank. So be sure to double check with your bank if you wish to withdraw your funds from interactive brokers in a foreign currency. Another thing that I really like about the Interactive Brokers platform is that you can easily convert your currencies. And you can always convert them at a far better rate 
than what you will get at the bank. There's actually two methods you can go about converting your currencies. The first method is the more straightforward method. Just log in to the interactive broker's website, click on convert currency. So let's say I want to convert 1000 Singapore dollars to US dollars. So the current rate quoted is 1 Singapore dollar equals to 0.7493 US dollar. Let's compare this rate with the exchange rates provided by the banks. This is the current quote from DBS Bank. Using the DBS Bank exchange rate, 1 Singapore dollar can only change for 0.744 US dollar. Whereas for the interactive brokers, I can exchange 1 Singapore dollar for 0.7493. So interactive brokers definitely have a far better exchange rate than the banks. When you're done, click Submit and you're good to go. The second method to convert your currency is to actually trade the Forex currency pair directly. So if I want to change my Singapore dollars to US dollars on the interactive brokers platform, I would open a long position on the USD SGD currency pair. And if I want to convert my US dollars back to Singapore dollars, I would short the currency pair. This method is slightly more complicated because you need to identify not just the right currency pair, but also whether to long or short the currency pair to do your currency exchange. You might ask me what's the difference between the two methods? There isn't really a significant difference because the exchange rates will be similar. The only difference is that if you choose to convert your currency using the second method by opening an FX position, this actually appears as an open position in your PL summary on the Interactive Brokers platform. And you can track it actively to monitor your FX gains and loss. If you don't want to track it as an open position, the easiest way is still the first method. Although the Interactive Brokers platform is slightly less user friendly than other platforms like Think or Swim, Buying and selling shares on the Interactive Brokers platform is still pretty straightforward. You can easily add companies that you want to monitor to your watch list. Under the watch list section over here, just enter the ticker symbol. For example, if I'm interested to check the prices of Disney, I will just enter the ticker symbol DIS over here. And if I want to buy the shares of Disney, I just have to right click over here, click Trade, Order Entry, or I can just head over to the order entry section and key in DIS directly. Click buy, select the number of shares and the price to buy and click submit. The same goes if I want to sell shares of Disney, I just have to enter the ticker symbol in the order entry and click sell. So that's it for the interactive brokers platform. I must say that as compared to other trading platforms, Interactive Brokers is definitely not as user friendly, but they do have very competitive trading commissions. It will definitely take some time for you to get used to the platform. So I hope that with this video, you will be able to start buying and selling shares on Interactive Brokers. Feel free to comment down below if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.